Hey everybody, welcome back to our Let's Play of U4. We are playing as Brandenburg, and we just got out of a war that Bohemia started with us uh, over a trade dispute. I didn't really didn't think they would go to war with us, but they did. And it went pretty touchy at first. We had to hire a bunch of mercs, take out a bunch of loans. I mean, we've probably got like 10 loans right now. Uh, oh, even more than that. Look at all those loans we took. But we're going to get them paid back. It's just going to take some time. So, uh, okay. So we want to... Would you still ally with us? Please tell me you'll take... Oh my god, yes. 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 And they haven't called for unlawful territory yet, which means maybe... Just maybe they won't. Can we improve? Yeah, let's improve relations. Oh, we can't. We recently sent a diplomat. Oh, it's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, how close are we to with you guys? Oh man, we can we can ally Hungary now too. On the first, the first of the month. Okay, so our plan here is uh, to get our troops back over here so that we can maybe disband some of these mercs to try to get into a little bit more of a stable position financially because right now we are absolutely just hemorrhaging money. Okay, so let's detach our mercs here and uh, the knights. Probably get rid of the knights first um, because they cost so much more. Let's chunk out... What are we? Right now we're minus 12. Let's just go ahead and chunk out a good portion of these guys. Okay, so that right there basically brought us uh, kind of back to being level. Just taking out those five units, which is good. And then I think what we could do is we could repay some loans. Oh, no, didn't help enough. <coughs> Breslau and whatever. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, some of it's also the high corruption. It's growing. Once the over once we get those core, the overextension will go away. So, we could bump up our stability. It's going to cost a little bit more because we're overextended, but that'll give us uh, more money and it'll take away maybe some of this uh, rebel faction stuff. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Shouldn't take too long to make those core. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, actually, that that's just showing from last month. Well, I guess we could just... How many mercs do we have left? Four? I don't think anybody's going to declare on us. I'm just going to be honest with you. Because we have Austria as an ally, and we're about to ally Hungary. Oh, they won't. So we have to improve relation a little bit more. Not much more, but a little bit more. So, did you ever... No, they never called for unlawful territory. It's so beautiful. Wait, are you in the HRE? You are. Okay, well... Sucks to be you, my friend. Sucks to be you. So we're going to keep an eye on our relation here with Hungary. And once it gets to the point where they'll take an alliance, we're definitely going to ally them. Oh, we're making money now. Nice. Not much, but we are making money. How close are we? Oh, it's getting further away. The re I guess the reason it's getting further away is because we're disbanding troops, which is making us look weaker to them, so... Spare no expense. Make it happen. Make it so. Make it so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take army maintenance down. Yeah. Man, our inflation is pretty high. We can deal with that, though. We can deal with that. So we got three allies um, that are all pretty, pretty strong. Austria is definitely going to be a good ally for us. Point seven years. Hmm. Well, what do we got here? A bunch of infantry. One knight. Magdeburg declared war on Anhalt. Bavaria declared on Bohemia. Bavaria is going to eat Bohemia alive. 
what's gonna happen there. They wasted all their resources on us. That's what happened. So I'm going to start going ahead and building back up my force limit at this point. Probably gonna go with the infantry first. Because they're cheaper. Um, keeping a close eye on this. We could harsh treatment them if we have to. And I might, even though I don't really like doing that. But I also don't like, uh, I don't like uh, not having enough troops to deal with them, too. Which is what I'm afraid would happen. So we just simply would not have enough uh, manpower to deal with them. chance is going down pretty slowly but it's a pretty high chance 20% chance a month of going up yeah we're gonna have to harsh treat with that I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't like harsh treatmenting but it's probably gonna have to happen so I'll wait till it gets up to 80 I don't want to wait till it gets up to 90 because then things could happen so. all right let's go down to speed three Speed three. Things could happen here. All right. So, oh, they've taken alliance. Beautiful. So now we're allied with Hungary. We've got four alliances. Let's go ahead and make sure that we stay topped off with Austria. We want Austria to be our bestest, bestest friend, basically. Right up until the point where we put a dagger in their back. Which is, which is probably going to happen, but it's going to be way down the road. Way down the road. Let's go ahead and get another unit of infantry. knock on wood maybe we won't have to harsh treatment <clears throat> just need to get those cores built early game at EU4 is, is just like can be very depending on who you choose it can be very nail biting or it can be very easy you know and depending on the actions of the AI and the randomness too and all factors in it's fun it's the best part Let's see okay we're maximum with both Hungary and Austria so, I guess we can go ahead and improve with Saxony. And Brunswick. Is it time to send an insult? I think it is time to send an insult. We, we will send an insult. Uh, we'll go ahead and cancel that. And uh, we insulted uh, Bohemia last time. So, this time we're going to insult Magdeburg. What do we got here? Nobles demand old rights. The nobility during this period still recalled the days when the king was just the first among many nobles. The nobility wanted to return to these days and would frequently pressure the king to regain certain lost rights and privileges. So if we accept the demands until 10 years, monthly autonomy change plus 0.05, nobility estate gains 10 loyalty. If we reject the demands, we lose one stability, which don't really want to do. I think I'll probably just take this. Probably just take this. That autonomy will burn off. And the will be ten. It's fine, it's fine. There it is, Rebel Uprising. Uh, what's the chance here? 18.5% chance says it's going to happen in 0 .09 years. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, we're already behind on military tech. Go ahead and harsh treatment that down. Yeah. I hate to hate to burn those uh, those points like that, but I think it had to happen. So I think we'll get one more infantry. Yeah, one more infantry, and then the rest will be cab. got to get some of those loans paid back because they're eating us up. Eating us up. We're hardly making any money. I mean, we weren't making a lot of money before anyways, but uh, yeah, we're definitely not making any money now. Go up speed. Cores are coming right along. Too awful long. Alright, so let's send you. Who are you with? You're with Saxony. We'll send you to Brunswick. Cool. It's gonna cost more. We need 25 gold for the horses. Land theft. Many land donations are quite old, and while they're always written down, both landscape and names may well have changed since the donation was originally written. Recently, the clergy have been accusing several members of the nobility of outright land theft in the form of encroaching on lands donated to the clergy long ago. The nobility, on the other hand, argue that it is the clergy who are trying to seize land areas that they do not own. Whoever we decide to side with will become the majority landholder in the area. So if we side with the clergy, Ruppin comes under the control of clergy, increasing their influence by 10.5%. Okay. Uh, clergy would gain 15 loyalty. Ability would lose 15 loyalty. Uh, gaining influence, same way. Uh, we don't want the clergy to lose uh, 15 loyalty because that will take them down to 35 and they'll be disloyal. So we're going to side with the clergy here because the nobility can afford to lose the loyalty and the clergy uh, can't. And then, uh, let's see, is there something we can do here to burn off that excess loyalty? I mean, actually, I, I kind of like having the clergy above 60 more than I do the other ones, I think. Okay, core construction is finished. Beautiful. So that's uh, not, not as bad as it was. And we can make Silesia a state. I think it's definitely worth doing. That'll help us to make a little bit more money. In the long run, yeah. See, we're that that jumped us up a, a pretty decent amount. We got about an extra ducat off that. Uh, okay, nobility is demanding control. So typically, what I do with uh, we're at speed three here. Typically, what I do with my estates, like with the nobility, is nobility is really good for like manpower. So I look at places where. Like maybe that's got a pretty high manpower and maybe nothing else that's any good. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking all, all those loans. But we've actually got some pretty decent provinces here. Um, so I'll probably just give them Sternberg. Yeah. Oh my god, our inflation is gonna be so bad. It's going to be so bad. So, so bad. I think I'm probably just going to start, instead of continuing to build up the military at this point, we need to get some of these loans paid off. Marketplace. Nice. Maybe I should have waited until January, but whatever. We're actually not too far behind, so that's good. Uh, so we can repay this. Let's go ahead and pause. 29 ducats has expired. We repay it immediately in its full amount. We can extend it for five years. We really, really, really don't want to uh, keep con accruing inflation, so we're going to repay that loan. Uh, this one will have to extend, 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 extend. Oh my god. What's our inflation at? Like 7% or something? Uh, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. 4.5. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. 
So the rebel chance is ticking down very, very slowly as the unrest goes down. Yeah. Separatism, war exhaustion is hurting it. I don't really want to spend any points to take down the war exhaustion, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it'll, it'll be completely gone in nine months. So, you know, that'll be good. And it doesn't look like they would really raise up with, uh, with too many units anyways, so. Yeah, keep taking out loans. Just keep on rolling them up on me. Lundberg was spying on us. How dare they. So we took those two, which isn't, wasn't really a part of our initial plan, but I mean, you know, you gotta roll with punches. Um, you know, Bohemia decided that they wanted to get crazy with us, so we, uh, we went after them. So we need to get in with get it get in at Pomerania here. They're allied with East Frisia, Lundberg, Oldenburg, and Novgorod. Well, Novgorod will probably get swallowed up by Muscovy, and yeah, as a matter of fact, it kind of looks like Muscovy's already doing that. Uh, the other ones, East Frisia, Lundberg, Oldenburg, are all like one province miners, so they're kind of small. Um, probably handle that. Treasurers are arguing that we need to enact some reforms in our economic policies. A new master of mint will also be needed to take care of the economy. So we can enact these reforms. We lose one stability, but we also lose one inflation, which is which would be helpful. Uh, if we no need for reforms, we gain three inflation. So we're gonna go ahead and take the stability hit here. Um, yeah, how's that gonna affect that? Uh, we're gonna let it ride. Losing the uh, inflation, I think, is good. Because <laughs> so, I don't really have the money right now to hire a master of the mint. So it's probably going to take... Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take... Jeez, look at these loans. I mean, that got us 16 loans, guys. 16 loans. Um... <laughs> Oh, so, uh, just hammering us. They're just going to keep on costing more and more money, too, until we get them paid off. So, yeah. I got to pay these off. Oh, shnikes. Um, Let's see. I don't really want a harsh treatment on them. Let's go ahead and just raise army maintenance back up. It's going to slow down our loan reparations, but holy shit. That, that really game, it's going to go that long without ticking and then all of a sudden you're going to do this to me. Pius III. As long as I can get this back up to uh, full morale, it shouldn't be a big deal. Another loan. Yay. But it, it snowballs the other way too. So like if we start paying off loans, it's gonna free up more money for us, so yeah. But we had to we had to get an army back going. I mean it had to happen. Okay, what do we got here? Military technology. Well that'll be good. If we get the uh, the separatists rise up. Rise up! We might be able to repay a loan next month. Maybe. Lundberg. Oh, we eclipsed Lundberg. Nice. Let's pick a new rival now. Uh, let's see. Pluk, pluk, pluk. Brunswick, Poland, Pomerania, Saxony, Teutonic Order. I would say uh, Pomerania sounds probably like the way to go here. I don't want to rival Poland, um, and I don't really want to rival the Teutonic Order just yet. So we're going to do Pomerania. Boom. And that means we need to cancel our embargo with 
uh, Lundberg. It's costly. And we need to issue an embargo on Albania. Okay, so we were working on Saxony and Brunswick. Let's keep on improving that until it's capped out. And can we repay a loan? No. The what happened there was those those ones that we could repay for like twenty nine they rolled over, and the uh, interest got tacked on. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Yeah, well, it's kind of just want to let these guys pop because we need to be able to run to get these loans reap. There they go. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen? Really? Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, even if I had full uh, full force limit, they have more than me. Um, what do we want to do here? Check out more loans. No, thank you. I think I just want to repay a loan. I mean, our leader's better. It's grasslands, but we would be taking a river crossing here. I'm replaying a loan. Because it's what I want to do. <laughs> Damn it, I'm repaying loans, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I guess they're going to siege that and then they'll they'll come attack us. Is what I'm guessing. Get some separatism going on. Yeah. Maybe they'll cross the border into Poland. That would be awesome. Go fight Poland. Yeah, go up there and pick on them. Oh, here they come. So... I don't know. It doesn't look like they're going to take a river crossing. They're going to have it's grasslands. So they're going to have a numeric advantage. Can we get out? We can't get out. Uh, we might have to take more loans. We might have to take more loans to get mercs up in here to fight these guys off. God, man, this is not. All those loans just destroyed our economy. Just destroyed it. I really don't want to take more loans. I think we're going to have to. Man, the interest is just killing us here. Um, okay. And then we're just going to, uh... Hopefully they don't just jump in on us and immediately destroy our asses. Eh, morale's looking pretty even. Ooh, it's gonna be really close. Like, really close. Looks like we're gonna have maybe a unit pop. Maybe. Yep, we got a unit pop. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Oh, did we lose? We must have lost it. Yeah, we lost. That was really strange. It was really strange. Hmm.
I've never, I've never had a situation before where I've had, uh, I've had a problem with rebels like this, like where they were, they were that much bigger than me, you know. Um, let's see. Do we want to to consolidate here? I, I don't know. Maybe some of the smaller ones. Hmm. Cause uh it's like this one, this one, and this one. What would that give us? Maybe one more. Yeah. Consolidate that down. And then take like this this one and this one. There we go. I guess I'm just gonna move over here to Sternberg and uh, try to get there before they can. And hopefully my morale takes back up before they start moving. I guess if they start moving and our morale's not back up, maybe we can get to Berlin. But it, it's woods, so if they try to come in on us on the woods, you know. They should get a, a penalty to that. It looks like we're reinforcing faster than they are. We might just go ahead and attack into them next month. Because we will reinforce again and get morale. And it's gonna be farmland, so or grassland. I don't think we'll take a take a river crossing. We will cross a river, but they didn't cross a river coming up from over here. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that at all. Hmm. Have to ask. They would definitely not give us military access, but Poland would if we wanted to kind of come along here. But excuse me. Maybe we'll just split in half and see if I can bait them into attacking. No, you stay here. You go there. Might be a bad idea. I don't know. We got a free diplomat here. Uh, probably need to re up on Austria. Might have to take out another loan. Come on. You know you want to attack me. Wow, Pomerania declared on the Teutonic Order. Hmm. Uh, sure. So they're just gonna sit there and completely reinforce? Is that what's gonna happen? That's what it kind of looks like. Kind of looks like they're just gonna completely reinforce down there. So I may just, I may just have to say, fuck it. Take out some more loans. Oh my god, the loans, guys. I mean, this is seriously gonna be a problem. It's, it's gonna. It's really bad. Really bad. Those are both good provinces. I don't really want to seed them. I don't know. Let's just, I guess we'll try taking out more loans. And, uh, we need to field some knights. Probably two units of knights, two more units of mercs. Then we're just going to attack into them. We'll take the river crossing and we'll just go across.
seconds. This is definitely not how I wanted to start this let's play. With a big fucking shenanigan mess here. Alright, well if we can't hammer them with 16 versus their 12, our leader is better. Yeah, we're going to be taking a... Well, actually we have the maneuver on him, so we won't take a river crossing. So there... Now, there's no reason unless we just get some shit rolls why we should lose this. Okay, so it looks like our heir died. Or maybe our king died, I don't know. Check it in a second. Alright, so we are going to win that barely, even though it shouldn't be barely at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put stability back up. I don't want to be at negative stability. And uh, who was that? Was that our king that died? Yes. No. No, it was not. It actually was our general who died in combat. Okay. Uh, recall. Boom. And let's send you to Hungary. Prove relations. And we'll go ahead and detach a siege. Move over here. Siege. What are these mercs? The glory of our capital has long been neglected. We now have an opportunity to improve the city and make it a beacon. Cultural pride, this may prove costly. <laughs> there is an alternative solution. Yeah, it's like take out lots of loans, right? Uh, gain one base tax in Berlin, lose manpower, or spend money. Well, we're definitely going to lose the manpower. We, we have a decent amount of manpower. Alright, we're going to get rid of these guys. Because we're just hemorrhaging money. Okay. You, uh, your mercs too, right? Yeah, just get rid of you guys. And we get to start the process all over again. Except this time, we won't have to deal with the, uh, the rebels. The rebel scum. Alright. Let's move you guys up to Berlin. Oh my god. It's terrible. Alright. Army maintenance. Down. Down, down. Goblin town. Okay, so we have one free diplomat. What do we want to do with them? Probably should uh, fab some claims here. On Pomerania. That's what we probably should do. Go ahead and get the claims lined up. So if we see an opportunity, we can jump on them. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll fabricate on Magdeburg. Can't invest anything in the paper seeks. We don't have any active cardinals. How much money? Oh, we can repay a loan. Beautiful. How many loans do we have? 20 loans now. 20 loans total that is 664 ducats. So currently we make 2 ducats a month. That's 336 months. That's uh, like 30 years. That's what it's going to take us to repay these. Of course, things do snowball. but And that's also... Uh, saying that nothing else uh, untoward happens to us here. We'll see. Let's go to speed 4. Oh, not speed 2, speed 4. Innocentius the 8th. So we're over 10 on both. It means we can go ahead and fabricate claim. Oh, it has to be 20? What? Is that that's new? Is that new or something? It used to be 10. That's very strange. Very strange. I'm surprised that we're <laughs> ranked up that high. But really that number, I, I don't pay too much attention to that. I mean, it, I guess you can use it as a general barometer of, of 
you know, how your uh, nation's doing, but I pay too much attention to it. I mean, in my opinion, we're in a pretty, pretty shitty way right now. Uh, we need to insult somebody here, don't we? Okay, fabricate a claim on Grief's Fog. And then on you, you only have one thing, so we'll just fabricate a Magda Bird. And then we're going to recall you. And we will insult... Who was the other one? Lundberg. Oh, we eclipsed them. So who was the other one that we rivaled? Oh, Pomerania. Did we insult you? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pomerania. Why? I've rivaled you. Why are you neutral towards me? That's very strange. Okay. Take that. As both influential landowners and the traditional warrior class in our state, the nobility have not fared well lately. Through a combination of excessive infighting and poorly coordinated power plays, the nobility have lost influence in Berlin, and many have retired to their properties in the countryside. So, the nobility estate has lost ten influence. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> oh my God, we're so far behind. So far behind. Uh, so, what happened there? We lost Pomerania as a rival. Oh, Pomerania is done for. Teutonic Order beat the hell out of them. Well, I mean, it's good because we wanted to take out the Teutonic Order. Anyways, it's bad because Teutonic Order now is much bigger. So, um, Let's go ahead and... Uh, Rival Celestia for now, I think. Allied with Magdeburg. We have a truce with them until 1463, so six more years. What we would probably do here with Celestia, we would probably force Vassalism so we don't have to spend the points on coring. So let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and rival Celestia, even though they're kind of weak. Uh, weak sauce, and we're gonna insult them. Oh, we already got that insult off, didn't we? Okay. Can we repay a loan? We can. Om OMG. Alright, well, we're about to have two free diplomats. What do we want to do with them? Hmm. Might be a good idea to, to try to butter up Poland a little bit. Ooh, we have a member of our dynasty, really. Hmm. Well, they, have a, they have a disputed succession. Hmm, I've never supported an heir before. I'm not even sure what it really does. Let's improve relation with Poland. And who else? Um, you know what? Maybe Bavaria. Because uh, Bavaria is another kind of big player. Oh, we have a new heir and he's good. He's much better than the other heir was. All right, well, I think that's a pretty good stop place. Uh, kind of another, I'd almost say like a crap, crap episode for events and things that have happened. I mean, uh, the them firing with that many troops, I did not expect that. I expected them to have a little bit less. And, uh, yeah, so that was, that was tough. But, you know, we got around it, and we only have like, uh, you know, like 57 million loans left, so. Yeah, in the next episode, we're going to try to get those loans, uh, Put a dent in those loans and, uh, you know, maybe try to see about what we can do towards either, you know, getting uh, Silesia force fast or taking Magdeburg or Lunaburg or something like that. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I look forward to the next episode. Until then, game on.